Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on double falsehood and we get to hear from Roderick today in Act 3, Scene 3. Now, Roderick is Enrique's brother and at the beginning of the play, he and his father were happy that Julio was going to be coming to court because then they figured out, or they thought they'd be able to figure out some of what was going on with Enrique's. But of course, Julio, having received the letter from Leonora, left court to go and deal with all of that and there was almost a brawl at a wedding and Julio was taken out like kicking and screaming and Leonora fainted and they found a suicide note and a dagger on her so they're all concerned about that. All of that's been going on but it means that Julio hasn't been at court. So in Act 3, Scene 3, Roderick kicks the, whole th the scene off by saying, Julio's departure thus in secret from me with the long doubtful absence of my brother who cannot suffer, but my father feels it, have trusted me with strong suspicions and dreams that will not let me sleep, nor eat, nor taste those recreations health demands. But like a whirlwind, hither have they snatched me, perforce, to be resolved. I know my brother had Julio's father for his host. From him, enquiry may befriend me. Old sir, I'm glad to have met you thus. What? ails the man, Camillo? So what he's saying is he didn't know that Julio was going to be leaving. He doesn't know why Julio left, where he went, any of that sort of stuff. And it, it's causing him a lot of distress because now not only did he and his father not know what Enriquez is up to, but they don't know what Julio is up to either. So he goes to find Camillo, who is Julio's father, hoping that maybe Camillo can shed some light on this. And Camillo enters at that moment. He's like, hey, how's it going? And Camillo just sort of lays into him. He's like, anybody that's related to Enriquez has to be terrible. And, and you were conspiring with Enriquez to steal Leonora away from my son. And and all of this back and forth and, and Roderick's like, I I have no idea what you're talking about. I actually I I I haven't been in the middle of any of that. I didn't conspire with anybody to steal anyone from anyone. And Camillo calms down a little bit, um, and they they realize that they, they don't know where Julio is or what's going on in that respect. And then uh, a servant comes in to say that Julio has left the city stark raving mad. And they're like, oh no, I don't know what's going on here. And then Don Bernard enters and it, he is actually feeling guilty about what he has done to his daughter at this point. He's like, this is all my fault that she nearly committed suicide. And you know, I'm, I'm a terrible father. This is what happens when you try to make women do what women don't wanna do and all that sort of thing. And then Camillo starts laying into Don Bernard and they almost get into a duel over this whole thing until Roderick steps in the middle of it and, he, and he's like, oh, like you two shouldn't be fighting. Like you both lost a kid in, in one respect or another and not lost as in they died, but sort of misplaced or lost the trust thereof. He's like, you're both, you're both kind of grieving parents at the moment looking for your child. So can we all just get along and, and maybe we can go find the people that we've been looking for find the rest of our party and, and figure out what's going on. So they all sort of agree that that's what they're going to do. Little do they know, Violante has been there watching for most of the scene. She she enters partway into the scene and she's just like, oh, hey, I know these, or at least I know Camillo and I'm going to see what's going on here. So she just steps back and hides and listens to this whole thing. And once once all the guys have left the stage to go find the remaining members of their party, she steps forward with a monologue that we will hear tomorrow. So I will see you then for that. Mwah.